If you're using Zotero for references or you're new to reference and you don't know which referencing program you should choose, or even worse still, you're still doing your references manually and you don't even know that a referencing programs exist that can automate the process, then I've got great news for you because I've got a new updated tutorial for using Zotero, in which I'm going to show you exactly um, the best strategies to use it, how to avoid the most common mistakes and how to automate the whole referencing process so that you save yourself a ton of time and you don't make mistakes when referencing. So let's dive right in. If you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers publish papers in high impact journals. And if you're enjoying this video, click on the like, the subscribe button so you don't miss future videos like this one. So just a couple of first tips when it comes to downloading and the program Zotero. So you might want to log in or create an account um, because this will allow you to sort of sync your data across different devices. And this can be useful in case, you know, you're using one computer at work and a different computer at home. And if you create your Zotero account, then everything will be nicely synced. So I definitely recommend that. And then, you know, you want to um, download the correct um, program. It normally detects whether you're Windows or Mac user, right? So if you're a Windows one, you can download it here. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can also download it, download it here. And then remember to also download the Zotero connector. So you will need this in order to be able to download um, text, to download papers and references from databases, right? So you've got to have um, Zotero for Windows or for Mac, the program, and then you've got to have the connector um, as well downloaded. And it's also possible to download connectors for other browsers in case you're not using Chrome, right? So first, download these two things and uh, the Zotero for Windows will automatically also download um, the Zotero plugin for Microsoft Word right so you can also use it in here in microsoft word if you want to use um, google docs then you need to download an additional plugin right but this one for um for word should be automatically downloaded now once you've um, downloaded it like one thing i'd really recommend is to create folders in your library right so you've got library and i like to keep things organized you know because otherwise you will just have a long list of references um, in here but I think folders can be really helpful and um, to sort of structure the different topics of the literature that you're going to be downloading articles on right if that makes sense and you can also create uh, subfolders right so you can see in here I've got a folder with some subfolders right so you want to go here and then create a folder and then name it and I'll start by creating you know maybe three to five broad uh, folders related to the main topics um, in your field and then as you read more you can create additional folders or sub folders right so I'll do this first now the this, the next tip that I wanted to give you is concerning how to actually download um, articles um, right so let's say you're on Google Scholar or this is going to be the same by the way for any other database that you use if you're using PubMed or if you're using Eric or whatever else you're using maybe your university library search engine is going to be the same so it doesn't matter but we're just going to use Google Scholar here uh, for simplicity so I'm just gonna type in uh, my name right um, in here right and then you know you're going to get all the all the articles here and books and things like that that the author wrote now what you can do imagine like you have one author and you want to add like a lot of publications by that author right so the most efficient way to do it is just to type in the name of that author and then in here you will see a folder sign that says save to Zotero right so what you want to do is click on it right and then select all the works that you want to download to Zotero right uh, and this will be much faster than sort of going one by one and typing, you know, the title of the first work, searching for it and downloading it. You can, you know, download 10 publications in one go like this. So I think this is a, a super tip that will speed up things for you. Now, when or before you click to download those publications, make sure that you're in the right folder. 
um, where you want those publications to be downloaded because what's going to happen is that Zotro is going to download them there into that specific folder. Now, um, a couple of um, other things that I want to point out to you. Now, if you're, you know, on viewing a, a research paper, right, you want to make sure that in here you've got um, an image of like a piece of paper, right, with some writing on it. So this means that this is a research paper and Zotro will be able to download it. Now, if you were to view a book chapter, so a book chapter will have a symbol like this, just an open book, right? That means that you're downloading a book chapter here. Now, if this was a, a full book that you wanted to get reference to, then the symbol would be a full book, right? So you want to watch out for this so you know what you're downloading. And those symbols will also appear in your library in Zotro. So you can see, you know, what each type of work that you're referencing here actually is you know this is for example a report and um, this is a thesis actually right and it's got this little symbol of a of a hat right now another tip that i want to give you is to also pay attention to kind of what um, information zotro gets from the internet right so sometimes you know it's just a program it can't really think for itself you know so it just relies on the data that the internet gives it and sometimes that data might be wrong so for some reason you know you can see that the title in here is um, formatted in all caps right but this is obviously not a correct way of formatting a title it shouldn't be all caps but Zotero doesn't know that so Zotero will download it like this right and I'll show you um, if we just download it here and then go to our Zotro library and you can see that it's just downloaded like this right and it's gonna come up if we now refer to it um, let's just very quickly I'm gonna talk about how to correctly refer in a second um, but if we dive right in here right and select um, right we, we're getting this paper here right so if you do this and then um, you add bibliography, right? Um, this whole thing is not gonna be correct, right? Um, because it can't be all caps. There is this strange like number one before the title as well, which shouldn't be there, right? So you wanna pay attention to what is downloaded. Like this is only the case in like maybe 5% or less even, less than 5% of, of all cases, but nevertheless do pay attention to it. And then you can, you can just edit any information you want here um, like this right by just typing something something else right and then of course this information will be updated um, in the text in here if we were to go in and refresh things Zotro is going to refresh it for us um, as well so you can also do it later even if those references are already in your text right so I'm just going to remove it in here and I'm also just going to get rid of it from here right now Sometimes you might find that like you either don't have access to a specific text or for some reason Zotro can't download it because maybe it's like a very old book that, you know, that was published, I don't know, in the 70s and it's no longer available anywhere online, right? So you can solve this by adding things here, right? So if you click on this plus sign, you can add a book, book section. Uh, book section basically refers to a chapter right and you've got lots of lots lots of more options in here of the type of document that you want to add and then when you you know when you click on it you can just add the title and everything else all the information that is needed in here typically you just need the title the authors and the publication number and the, sorry the publication year and the place of publication the, these are the only things that you need right and you really only need to do that in very rare cases I, I can't even remember when was the last time that I did it but you know in case you do have you know all the books or maybe government reports that Zotro can't download uh, then you know that's a good way of doing things now another important tip is you know to sort of be careful what type of document you try to download because sometimes Zotro will not be able to download and the information as you can see in here I've got like some sort of a PDF document saved and there is no information about it from Zotro this is going to happen if you try to 
download like you've got a PDF document open like this and this sometimes happens when you know you search something in a database and the link takes you straight into the PDF document then and then you will get a sign of a PDF document in here right Zotro will not be able to download it correctly and you won't get any information about this paper like this so be careful um, about that now let's move on to how to actually reference correctly in here. So once you've got everything installed, you've downloaded the references that you want, well then first of all, you know, you want to select the, um, the referencing style. Now you can always change it later on, so it's not a big issue, but you want to select the correct referencing style. And if your referencing style is not here, uh, you can download styles. So this happens rarely, but sometimes, you know, you, you do need to get additional styles, uh, for example, for a specific journal, right? Or maybe your university invented their own uh, referencing style. And you can just get them by clicking here, right? And you will see there are literally like thousands of them divided by the discipline and stuff like this. Or if you know what the style is called, because maybe it's a name of a specific journal, you can just type it in, in here and just download it right to Zotro library so I think that's that's a really good um, uh, feature and that will help you a lot right now a couple of quick tips when referencing sort of based off the most typical mistakes that I see you know um, PhD students and researchers make when referencing right so first of all you know if you're if you're writing and let's say you've written a sentence like this right and you've got the name of the author in here, right? Well, when you add the citation, right? Right, let's say you add this. What's going to happen is that, you know, it's not correct because you've got the author's last name outside of the brackets and then you've got it in brackets again, right? So that's not correct. Um, so when you're adding this citation, what you want to do is click on it and then click on omit author and then do this. Right? And then it's going to show up like this. Right? Now, another thing you know, that you might need to do is to quote. Right? So let's say you need to quote from here. So you can also do that if you, again, click on the author and then go to page and then type in the page. Right? So now another thing that I know some people want to do is like, you know, in here, let's say you have a sentence. Right, and then we're gonna have a reference in here, right? And let's say, you know, you wanna, you wanna add something, you wanna say like, see for example, and then the author, right? There you go, right? So the way I did that was, if I go to add edit citation, right? In the prefix, I just typed in whatever I wanted to come before the actual citation, right? So that's another thing that you can do, right? Now, let's just uh, add bibliography in here, right? Right, so we've got the bibliography. Now, if for some reason you ever need to change anything about you know, any of the references in here, the best thing to do is to actually change them in here. Because if you change them um, in the Zotro program itself, it's gonna then update it in Word in here as well. But if you only change it in Word and then you close the document and you open it again, you add some more citations, Zotro is gonna default to whatever it has in the system. So if you ever need to make any changes, right? For example, you need to change you know, the, the title's format, right? To capitalize every first letter of, the, of every word, right? Um, then you wanna do it in here in Zotro, not in the Word document. Now, if for some reason, like you finished uh, adding all citations and then for some reason, like you wanna change a couple of them and the formatting, but you're not planning to add any more citations, you could unlink them um, as well. And that's going to work really well. Now, if you're finding this valuable, but you would want more personalized help, 
writing research papers or an excellent PhD thesis, then definitely schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation where we're going to dive deeper into your current challenges, identify your goals, and then also outline a personalized action plan for you that will help you to achieve your goals faster. And the link to that free one-to-one -one consultation is right below this video.